Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing some fly fishing today for some brook trout in these little ponds. Um, I've got like a few different spots I wanna try, but there's a good handful of ponds around here. So hopefully they have fish cause they don't always have fish depending on, I don't know, winter kill and all that stuff. Sun is high in the sky. It's like noon right now. You know, I just, I just can't wake up in the morning. This weekend I got like 10 hours of sleep total in four days. So I'm a little tired, but we are gonna hopefully catch some fish today. So let's get to the first spot and start fishing. All right, here is the first little pond. First impressions, it does not look too deep at all. So I'm not sure there's anything alive in here, but we'll walk around, see if we can see anything. Okay, so after walking around this pond, I've determined that there's definitely no life whatsoever. It's super, super shallow and doesn't look like there's any water flowing in. So there's definitely no fish. Let's head to the next pond. All right, pond number two. There's a big deep hole out there in the middle and some logs over there. Let's check it out. All right, so I just spotted some fish right out there in the middle, but they're only like three inches long. There's a bunch of them though. Bunch of little brook trout. There are some like five, six, seven inches over there. We might be able to catch those. Um, so I'm gonna go get my fly rod set up and we're gonna cast in here. All right guys, so I'm just trying out this little green copper john under an indicator. It's not too deep out there. In fact, there's like a bunch of two inch brook trout just right here in front of me. Hopefully there's some bigger ones out there. I saw like two that were catchable size. So I'm guessing there's more that I just can't see. All right. Oh, here come all the little babies to check out my fly. You're just a little too small, buddy. Okay. Come on. Some time later. Well guys, I am an idiot. Just broke my rod. Broke the tip of my rod, two pieces. Freaking mess, dude. My line was getting all tangled up at the tip and I was just shaking it around and I pulled the line a little bit too hard, maybe out of frustration and it's gone. It is gone, buddy. Mm. And this is the only fly rod I brought today. <sighs> Wonderful. Awesome, 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 awesome. I hope I can get a replacement tip for this. <sighs> that sucks, dude. There's like 50 fish out there in the middle. Not one of them have, has looked at my fly. I've lost two flies and not one has even moved towards it. I, I've never seen brook trout this just finicky before. So I'm done with this pond. I got my spinning rods, so hopefully I can throw some marabou jigs or something. That sucks, dude. Oh, all right, let's move on to the next spot. All right, here we are, pond number three. I got my spinning rod out. This is probably the best looking pond I've seen and I can already see a nice brook trout right there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that last spot really frustrated me. I mean, 100% honest with you guys, that was my fault I broke my rod. I was just getting hung up in the branches and dude, I don't know. Fly fishing has made me an impatient person and I just yanked the line and snapped it and then I just snapped it again out of frustration. So, I mean, 100% my fault. <sighs> but we better catch a fish here, dude. Cause I am, I'm already like, it's not, we haven't even been fishing an hour and I'm already gonna snap. So I do see a nice brook trout right there and a bunch of little fingerlings. I've got this little marabou jig. Hopefully we get one. I mean, there's a nice one right there. Oh, he's going right over to it. Oh, oh, he just swirled on it. Dang it. Well, there was the first fish that actually seemed interested, came right over to it and then turned already off to a better start at this pond and there's some more right under those fallen trees too cast right over to them oh there's a got him oh no there was the first bite first bite oh there was a hit mmm that was a good bite that was a good bite there we go there we go there's a fish First one, finally. Should not have taken nearly that long, but it did. But that's a solid brook trout on the black leech. Let's go down and get him. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have, for real. Come over here. All right, 
Look at that. That's a good fish. Very good fish for this little pond. Nice male. There we go, that's the first one of the day, finally. Beautiful brook trout. Good chunky fish for this pond. Hopefully that's not the last one. See you later. Oh, might need to help him. Get out of here. There he goes. Yeah, it should not have taken that long to get a fish. I've missed probably three or four that have bit it. And I've seen like a hundred that have just totally denied my flies. We got that guy on a black leech right next to that fallen tree. They are being super finicky. Like it's crazy. I was almost ready to break out the gulp minnows. Let's try walking out on this log. Where there's logs, there's usually brook trout. It, there he is right there. Oh, no. Missed him. Oh, one just denied it. One just denied it. There he is. Different one came up for it. Little guy, smaller than that first one. Oh, get out of the weeds. My net's over there, so I'm just gonna have to get this guy off. Try not to fall off the log here. Whew. Nice, there we go. Another little guy on the leech. Cool, there's a bunch of fish this size down there. Nice fish number two of the day. Get him back. Oh, see you later, buddy. There's a fish right there at my feet. I think that's the one that I just caught. But let's see if he'll eat it. Yeah, that's definitely the fish that I caught. Got him right there. Right there. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. He finally decided yes. That's one of the nicer ones I've seen down there. Another beautiful fish. Beautiful. I'm actually going to go get the net for this guy. All right. All right. Settle down. Nice. Nice, nice. Brook trout number three. Look at that big guy. For this pond, this is a nice fish. They don't get giant, but they're fat and healthy. Got good colors on them, and they are smart, dude. <laughs> they're just really finicky today, but you can get them to bite. Just takes about five fish. There we go. Beautiful little brook trout from the pond. Thanks for biting, buddy. Oh, <laughs> he just dove straight down in the weeds. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I just poked him with a stick and he shot off. All right, so I think I'm finally starting to figure these fish out. They're not super aggressive. They're not in a feeding mood. They do come up and check it out, but most of the time they don't really try to eat it. So I'm letting it just sink, kind of sit on the bottom and then just barely twitch it every now and then when I see a fish and they come over and kind of slurp it up off the bottom. There's a lot of fish out there, that's for sure. Got him, right there. Right there. Oh, 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 he's getting around the log. No, he just, did he just break off? He just broke off. All right, well, I just broke off on an expensive black leech on a fish. Because you hook them and they go straight under the log and snap your line almost instantly. So down yet another expensive fly and missed a fish. But thankfully I have one more of those leeches. We're going to try not to lose this one. Ugh. All right, well, that's going to do it for this pond. I caught like three or four fish, missed a couple others, and lost about $10 worth of flies. So not great, not good, not horrible. So I'm going to move on to the next pond, and hopefully they're biting a little bit better. Higher up I go, I'm starting to see a lot more yellow quakies like this. Just another sign that falls on its way. Oh, 
There goes a fish. There's a fish right there in this little stream. Probably like an eight incher. Looks like a rainbow. <laughs> it's a pretty big fish for being in a tiny little stream like this. Can you guys see him? We're following him. There he goes. He might have gotten in from another pond and gotten trapped. Oh, there goes another little guy. There's a little minnow. What is that? A little brook trout or something? Yeah. Little baby brook trout. All right guys, so for the last two and a half hours, I've been wandering around looking for other ponds to fish. And I found a couple and they didn't have any fish. I even followed a stream for a while and I did see a couple fish like you just saw. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. So I've returned to the pond that we were just fishing because this is the only spot that I've been able to catch fish. We might head down to that first one we fished today and see if they started biting, but for the next hour or so, we're gonna see if we can catch some more fish here and we might do a catch and cook. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, just depends on how the fishing is. Hopefully since a couple hours have passed and it's kind of cooled down, these fish are gonna start feeding a little bit more. Got him, fish on, fish on. Little guy, that didn't take too long. A lot quicker than the first time we were here. Not a very big one, but that's what, the fourth fish of the day, I think? Oh, nice. Just a little too small to keep, but he's pretty. He is sure pretty. Beautiful little colors, got him on that uh, little leech. It's got some red, some orange, and some green on it. All right. Oh, oh, <laughs> see you later, buddy. I didn't even see that guy eat it. I just cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and I just kind of felt him tug on it, and I set the hook. There we go. I just saw my line go. <laughs> Clear out in the middle, too. Another one about the same size. There we go, two fish real quick. That's a good sign. I think they're gonna start eating here. The further the sun goes down, I think they're gonna get more active. Another little guy. Just casting it out as far as I can. And I'm just letting it go to the bottom and I'm watching my line. Hopefully we can get one of those big ones I saw earlier. Because I did see some good fish, probably 14, 15 inches, which is a good fish for a pond like this. There we go, fish on. I wasn't paying attention and I feel my line straighten out. <laughs> Number three, dude. We've been here seven minutes. So seven minutes on my GoPro and we've caught three fish. Nice, dude. Another little guy. We'll just get him off here quick. My hand is still wet. Nice. These are some pretty, pretty fish. Well, guys, I am very confused. Right when I got here, I caught three fish right off the bat in like seven minutes. Nothing else for the next 20 minutes. I even fished around on that other side. I can't even see them anymore. They've kind of hunkered down for the evening, I guess. So before we head out of here, we're gonna head down to that first pond we tried because I know there's fish in there and I'm gonna see if I can finally get them to bite. All right, guys, back at the first pond. Hopefully the fish are starting to bite and hopefully they don't break another rod. Got that same leech on and I can still see the fish right out there in the middle. Let's give it a try. Instantly, instantly, Sky, are you kidding me? Instantly, my line just shoots out. Missed him. It wasn't a very big one, but there we go. Oh, there's another bite. Dude, they might have woken up. They might have woken up. Let's see. Got him. Third cast. There's a fish. There's a fish, finally. Is this one big enough to keep? Because I'm thinking we do a little catch and cook, folks. You, yeah, uh, I don't know. He's not very big, but we could keep two of them. Huh, oh, settle down, settle down, settle down. Um, I don't know, do we keep him? I'm gonna let this one go. We're gonna see if we can get one a little bigger. There we go, dude. Very different story than earlier today. There he goes. Well, that feels good because I was feeling very defeated here earlier today. I fished for like an hour through a ton of different flies, lost like $10 worth of flies, broke a rod, and I couldn't catch a little fish. So that is kind of a redeeming moment right there. Oh, one just hit it. There we go. There we go. 
That's another little fish, yeah. There's not a lot of big fish in here. I'll show you what I got them on. Did I get them on the leech or the, let's see. Cause I tied another fly on this rig to give it a little extra casting weight, yep. So I tied on, I had the green leech on and then above it I tied a little red chronomid and that's what that guy ate right there. Or it's black with red thread. There we go, right there. Another little one, smaller than that first one, so we're just gonna let him go. See you later. We need a nice cooking sized fish. There's gotta be at least one or two out there. Oh, next cast, we got smoked. Yep, there he is, dude. Another one. <laughs> I think we figured him out finally. Nice, that one is slightly bigger. Not by a lot though. On the chronomed, yep. Hand is still wet from the last one. Nice, feels good to catch fish, you know? Oh, we just popped off. Pretty little brook trout and mountain ponds. Should have tried this chronomid back at that other pond. That might have been the ticket there too. Missed opportunity. There we go. Here we go. Dude, we're catching them like crazy now. <laughs> Right after, this is a pretty little male. Got a little bit better colors on him. Nice. Pretty little male brook trout. This is so much fun, I'm so glad. We finally got him figured out. <laughs> All right guys, well I just lost yet another fly, an expensive leech, um, so that Brings our total to five lost flies today that I can remember, probably more. Um, so yeah, we're down quite a bit of money. There we go. There we go. Nope, you stay out of that freaking log. This is fun. We're catching fish, losing flies, but we're catching fish. Oh, this guy took the leech. Right there in the nose. Let him go. There he goes. Oh, next cast, instantly. Holy cow, what'd he take, what'd he take? Took the leech again. Huh, interesting, okay, so I was using that green leech and every single time, for the most part, they'd take the chronomid. And now that I'm throwing the red one, we just caught two with it back to back. I'm already losing track of how many we've caught. But that's how you know it's a good day. All right guys, well I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I am pretty tired. Uh, thankfully we did catch some fish. We did not get skunked today. We didn't start off the greatest. We started off with a broken fly rod and I lost about half a dozen expensive flies. And if you average them out to about two bucks a piece, we're down a buck or two. Aside from that, not a bad day. I'm not gonna end the video right here though. Tomorrow, we're gonna head to some other spots, hopefully do a catch and cook. But until then, we got a beautiful sunset. It really is nice out here. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, well, it is the next day and we are at our first spot. We're gonna try fishing this beautiful lake right here. And right off the bat, on shore right there, there's like a thousand minnows, like all along the shoreline in the rocks. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of little one two inch fish and i'm not totally sure what they are but if i had to guess they look like baby trout or i don't know maybe maybe a shiner or something but that tells me that we need to be using something that mimics a minnow so i'm thinking rapalas i don't know what kind of fish are in here if i had to guess probably brook trout and rainbow trout so i'm gonna get tied on and take a cast hopefully this is gonna be a good day all right so i've just got this little rainbow trout rapala tied on we're gonna cast right along the dam here, see if we can pick anything up. There's some fish right there, you guys. First fish spotted. Couple rainbow trout right there. Let's try. There's actually a few fish right here. From the looks of it, they're just all rainbows, but oh, oh, oh my gosh. One just came over and took a swipe at it. <sighs> Holy cow. There's a bunch of baby trout swimming around. I don't know what they are. I can't tell. They're like brook trout or something. I don't know. 
All right, I'll get back to you guys if I get a fish. All right, so we got a couple bites, a couple follows, but couldn't connect with anything. I think it's just mostly stalked rainbows, maybe some cutthroat in here. So I'm not gonna waste too much time. I wanna find some spots with some brook trout. So off to the next spot. All right, here's the next lake. I think we got some brook trout in here, but I don't know, we'll see. There's fish jumping out there. They're in here. How stable is this thing? Uh, I think we'll be all right. There we go. Oh, we got a dead fish right there. Looks like a little rainbow. This looks good. There we go, fish on. Fish on. Little rainbow. Little rainbow, not what I'm after. I think there's brook trout in here too, but I could be wrong. There we go. Little guy. See ya. Oh, missed another one. There we go. That's a little better one. Another rainbow though. Another rainbow. Putting up a fight. Nice. Get in here on the leech. But not what we're after. Either way, that's a cool fish. Oh, there we go, fish on. Another little rainbow, all right. I think it's just little rainbows in here. There could be some brook trout or something else, but I don't know, I, uh, it's probably unlikely. I'm gonna head to the next spot. This is really a beautiful little lake. And I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like next month when all those quakies are bright yellow and orange. Wow. All right, here's the next pond. Not very big, but it's full of brook trout. All right, so here's the rig I got going. Got a little red chronomid down to a balanced leech. The same setup I was catching those fish on yesterday. Cause a lot of these fish out there look really small. So they might not want to hit the bigger leech and just go for the chronomid, but we'll see. And I can see them out there. There's a lot of little brook trout. First cast. Oh, there's a swipe. Oh, almost had a... Oh. Missed him, first cast. Got him, oh my gosh, how are they missing it, dude? There's like 10 fish hitting it. I don't get it, what the heck? There we go, finally. About 10 bites later, got a little brook trout. Too small to keep, obviously, but that's the first brook trout of the day. This is what we're after. Nice, he took the leech. Cool, cool. I mean, we could, oh, goodness. I mean, if we wanted to, we could keep like two or three of these and cook them and, be, and it'd be a good meal. But first one of the day, we'll let them go. I haven't seen too many fish down there bigger than this. There's a few, but not by much. All right, little guy. See ya. Got him. Watched him slurp it up. This one's even tinier than that first one. There is not very many big fish in here. My hand is still wet. I'll just get him off the hook here. Look at that cute little thing. Ooh. Cute little brook trout. We'll just go ahead and toss him back. There we go, got him. <laughs> got him. This is actually not a bad sized fish for here. Oh, there he goes, shoot. They're, they're all just hitting it, but they're not really eating it. You know, they're just coming and swiping it and swimming away. Oh, there's one in the shallows right there, right on shore. Watch this. Oh, missed him, there he goes. Got him, got him. Nice, you know, this is, oh. I was gonna say we could have kept him because that was a little bit better one. 
There we go. There we go. Another little guy. He ate the chronomid. Nice. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we're not going to be getting much size out of this pond. I mean, look at that little guy. Give him a little toss. See you later. This is some of my favorite fishing though right here. Sight fishing for brook trout in crystal clear ponds. Like, it's just so cool to watch them eat your fly. Wow, that's kind of, oh, yep, I spooked one out. He's still right there. Got him, yep. <laughs> Watched him, casted right over to him, and came over and ate it without any hesitation. Hmm, that looks like a keeper. Yep, we're keeping this fish. I'm gonna keep one other about the same size, and we're gonna cook them. I think I'm gonna start a little fire and cook them in some butter. That is awesome. All right, there we go, got them on a stringer. I'm gonna set them right here in the water while we keep fishing. Hopefully it doesn't float away. I can keep up to four fish here, but I'll probably only need one more. And there's one right there. He's cruising. There's like a, this is like a shallow swamp. Not even a foot deep, no way it's a foot deep. And there's brook trout cruising around. Oh, one came out. Got him right there. <laughs> is that another keeper? It's close. We'll bring him over here. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that guy. He ain't big, but with that other one, he'll cook up nicely. Sweet. Fish on. My camera was off. Just another little brook trout. Nothing special. Man, I could sit here and catch these guys all day long, but you probably don't want to watch me sit here and catch 50 little five inch brook trout. So we'll catch a couple more and then we'll go cook those guys up. Got him, right when it hit the water. <laughs> nice, sweet, nice, nice. These fish are so pretty. I love brook trout. I mean, look at that beautiful fish with a beautiful view. All right, see you later. Oh, tiny itty bitty guy. Almost had him hooked. There we go. <laughs> My hand is still wet. Look at that. Eat the leech again. What is going on? Those fish last night at that one pond, they were only eating the chronomid. Just interesting how some fish are like that. Look at that little dude. I'll just shake him off here. <laughs> Thanks for biting. I wonder if these fish survive through the winter because I mean, it is not very deep. It is a few feet out there. Maybe. I mean, there is a stream that comes in over there, so it's pumping in fresh water year round, but I imagine there's quite a few fish that just die. Oh, there we go. Had him. I didn't even realize I had him. I was just reeling in and he was on. Nice. This is fun, folks. See you later. There we go. Haha, <laughs> watched him. Tracked it down and ate it. That's a nicer one. This might, is this the biggest fish we've caught? I think it is. This is the biggest fish we've caught. Probably like the biggest one out there. I'll take it. That's a nice fish. Clocking in at about, I don't know, eight, nine inches. That's a good fish. Thanks for biting. All right, so I just cleaned those two brook trout. We got some orange meat in there. These little guys are gonna be delicious, but this spot was fun. No big fish, obviously, but we caught a good handful of them. It's just a beautiful little spot. Definitely wanna come back here, but we're gonna go cook some fish. All right, so we've... All right, so we found a nice little table to cook our fish. I was gonna make a fire, but to be honest, it is very hot today and I didn't feel like, I mean, there's just no point building the fire and <laughs> I'm already sweating. So we'll save the fire for when it gets a little bit colder. Go ahead and light up our stove. First thing we'll do is take some butter that I put in this Ziploc bag and that is completely melted. 
we will just go ahead and pour some of that out. Yeah, like I said, it's been very warm today. And then I also have this potato. I have no idea where it came from, but it was in the box with all my uh, cooking stuff. It was just in there, I don't know. I guess I can't remember that I put it in there, but we might as well use it before it goes bad. So we'll slice up a few potato chips. Not a lot, just a couple. Throw some of these down there. They're probably not gonna get crispy or anything because it's just in butter and not oil, but. So we got some potatoes in there cooking in the butter. And then hopefully we'll have room for our fish. And we'll just set them in there. There's one and two. There we go. And we have some oaky and smoky seasoning by California Rancher. We'll go ahead and season the inside of these guys. Season the potatoes too. I'll just go ahead and season everything. Mmm. Ooh, it smells good. There we go, fresh brook trout and potatoes, cooking in butter. We actually caught these fish probably three hours ago, but for the past three hours I've been driving around just looking for other ponds to fish. We might fish another spot, but I'm kind of concerned about my truck. If you could tell that last like big mud hole I drove through, it was pretty deep and it sounded like something broke on my truck. I mean, it, it didn't sound very good. All right, what's the best way to go about this? What's funny is I bought a four-wheeler earlier this year and I said to myself, I don't know if I said it on video, but I said these words to myself. I am gonna make this truck a pavement princess. I'm not gonna take it off-road, but I took it off-roading on the way home from buying it. I mean, I just can't help myself. See, hopefully we didn't mess anything up too bad on our truck. That was a really rough road to get to that little pond, but it was fun. Look at that, they're getting a little golden brown. I think the fish is cooked on that side. Go ahead and flip it over. Yeah, there we go. This fish is so small, the meat just crumbles apart so much easier. Nice. Let's see if we can peel the skin off. These potatoes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off the pan here. Let them cool down. That fish is almost done too. I mean, they're not very big, so it's not gonna take them much longer. All right, let's try one of these potatoes. Potato cooked in butter. That's hot. That's really good, but it's very hot. And there we go. Super simple potatoes and trout. Fresh, well, not fresh. It was probably caught two and a half hours ago, but kind of fresh brook trout from the pond. It's got a weird, kind of an interesting flavor to it. It's not fishy, but I don't know how to explain that. Okay, that was a better piece. Mm. Sometimes the tail meat's a little bit more, I don't know, I think it's better a lot of the time. These potatoes, on the other hand, are flawless. Mmm. Yeah, usually the meat around the tail is my favorite. I don't know why. This is so much fun. I've just been out here wandering around all day, exploring new trails. I've probably seen more than a dozen little ponds, but most of them I haven't found fish so I didn't even bother filming. In fact, most of the day is just spent driving around looking for spots, and only a small percentage of that is actually fishing and catching fish. Mmm, that is delicious. That's a good fish. All right, guys, well, I am gonna head out of here. 
Right, I'm gonna end this video. I'm actually gonna go start on a different video for you guys, but yeah, it was a fun couple days of fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Explored like, I don't know, three or four different spots, caught some fish. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.